Great. Great to see you here today. Okay, so basically... Hi, hello. Hello. So we left off with the characters um, going to an area where there was a lot of water because the snow had melted, and they just happened upon a fish. So um, you falls down, and she's like, Oh, what is this? Um, the first line is going to go to Cookie. I'm going to go full screen for the moment. Um... Okay, here, yeah, the stream's working now. Okay, uh, uh, do I go to the next panel as well? Sure. And it's like, and it's like, uh, that, um, so like, this here's a fish, and then it's like, it, see, it looks like it's dead, or like, it seems to be dead. Is that right? Yep. And then is like, what are fish? Exactly. Is that right? Yep. Something like that. What type of thing What type of thing even is fish? Um, mm. well, I think I say it's like, nah, it's kind of like a vocal size. I was like, oh, this is a fish. Kind of how she's saying that. Something like that. Um, our next panel is going to go to tree. Uh, Mizu. No, Nakani Sumu Ikimono da yo. Some living, living in the middle of water. Mm, so Ikiru, the, the, the thing verb. That so Ikiru, the verb, does mean to live. So Ikimono can be translated as thing that lives, but in English we just would say a living creature, right? Yes. So, so that sentence say in in the middle of the water uh, lives dwell the fish, the 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 living Hi. the uh, the creature that lives in the middle of the water. Yes. So you haven't learned this yet, but this is an example of a relative clause. So, but was, in English, we use the word that and words like that to show relative. So we'd say, a living creature that lives in the water is how you would translate this into English. But in Japanese, relative clauses are attached to their nouns by their verb being in short form. So this is all just describing the noun that happens. Um, I'm going to do this middle one real quick and then Cookie's going to try this panel. Looks like a hard sentence, but he can gum it all. <laughs> uh, okay. Muka Umi toka ni takusan iru rashi. It seemed, um, in the past, it seems like there was a bunch of them living in the sea. Okay, uh, hang on. I just need to, like, quickly check a few things. Uh... First word is okay. hito, like, me. Uh, yep. Yeah. Hito, and then, uh, Igai, yeah. Igai no ikimono nante mo iki. Uh, I think that means nante. Is that right? It's actually no, so iki no te. Oh, wait. Iki no kote. Iki no kote. I forgot the code. Iki no te nai to omote takedo. Um, so it's like, uh, what does hito mean? Hito? This is ningen. Normally, you'll see it with this. Oh, so kanji that's the character. actual person. Okay, I did not. I do. I don't know why they use katakana in this context, but okay. Um. Um. So people with the exception mm, of. Wait, wait, um, wait. Um. Um. It, it's more like an exception of people. I would say. Oh, hito so it's like igai. except for people. Hi. Yeah, so except for people, um, and there's like no ikimono, it's like, it's like the exception of people's possession of something. I'm not sure what this means. Mm, yeah, it's kind of hard. Basically, the point of this is that kind of like zenbu no ikimono, they're more um, 
iki no kote nai is actually what the saying here. So hito igai means hito are the only ones that have iki no koru. Everybody mm. else has not iki no koru. Um, I just need to turn up the volume. Um, uh, do you know what iki no koru means? Iki mono. No. So iki no koru means. Oh, it means to survive, yeah? Yes. Uh, no koru means yep. to be left behind. You may have heard Harry Potter before, the boy who lived in Japanese as iki no kota otoko no ko. So. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. It just means it was um, able to survive. So, ikimonos, what happened to them? Are they still alive today? Nope. Nope. Except what? There's only one species that's still alive today. What creature that is a living creature that is still alive today? Hang on, let me just try and translate this sentence. With the exception of human beings, um, all other living beings have perished or aren't living anymore. Is that right? right. I think. Yes. And then we have omote. Yeah. Omote takedo. Perfect. Yeah. And omote takedo means, um, it's like, I think, um, however. Yeah. So the, the first man at the end with this do is because she's like, well, I guess it must have lived if there's a fish in front of me. So that kind of helps show her doubt yeah. of um, the information she mm. had. Yosh, tabeyo! Like, okay, let's eat it. Eh, taberareru kana? Oh, can we even eat that? And then tree next bubble will be for you. Utsukashi no hito wa tabete da tabete da karashi kedo daijoubu kana? Just letting you know, this is the same as tabete ita. A lot of times, ita and iru, the e will be dropped in Japanese when people are talking. Uh, uh, do you know what long, she means? Uh, the human from long ago, the ancient Hi. Uh, ate. The ancient used to eat um, rashi, kero. It seemed. Hi. It seemed, however. And it's it's okay. It's okay to eat, isn't it? Yes, that's basically exactly what it's saying. Kana is more like I wonder if it's okay to eat rather than isn't it okay to eat. But those are pretty similar in English as well, so it doesn't really change the meaning that much. But hi, perfect. Um, bunkai wa hajimatte nai mitai, uh, dakido. It seems like it has not yet started decomposing, so. That's why she's kind of saying, so she kind of feels like it's not daijoubu, but she's saying maybe it is daijoubu because Boon, it has not started decomposing yet. Um, ma, yakeba taberare ru kana. Well, I guess if we cook it, we should be able to eat it. And then, crit, a cookie, your turn. Yako! <laughs> this is like, let's cook it. And then um, the next bit afterwards is like, um, Oh, uh, I, I think I know what they're trying to say. It's like, we should wash it first, I think. Hi. So it's like, narate um, mono. Uh, I think that is for, for su, oshite karane. It's like, let's wash it and then let it dry. That is exactly what it's saying. It says, a thing that is being washed, we should let it try. Um, so most likely in mm. this context, she's actually talking about the clothes they were washing earlier would actually be my guess. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'd use arao to wash something with food. I think that's actually more of a laundry, getting clean type of thing. Aratta mono, ho, hoshite kara, ne. So she's basically saying after we, um, wa after we dry our washed clothes. Hi. And the next bubble is going to go to tree. I'll see who popped in while you do oh, hiya. Oh, hiya. Is that Anthony? Do I know people's voices? Now able to join. Oh, you're not able to join? Just saying hi. I, I'm, I'm now able to join. Oh. <laughs> so, so this bubble is 
ね水の中に住むでさあどんな感じだろうね So this is the, the, the in the water,、はい、living in the water.、はい、Such the thing that l i v e in the water is feeling. It's, feeling. it's not really about a thing. It's more like, what if I sumud in the water? Don't like kanji that all. Kanji is. What is so this sentence say? What does it feel s like to be、yes. living in the water? Exactly, that's exactly what it's saying. What does it feel like to live in the water? The tisa part of here is basically like a way to bring up a topic of a new sentence. So, rather, so they're not really talking about any specific creature. She says, Huh, what does it feel like to live in the water? What kind of feelings would that give off?、Um, and Anthony, do you want to try the next panel? Sure. Um, sa, uh, I, I know this is like、uh, uh, float. It、uh, is. Uka, uka It comes from uku.、Uh, I forgot. u i t a r i Ah, okay. Uku, uku i t a r i Shizun dari. Koko no hire o. Bata bata sasete susumu. らしいけど、ah, so, さあ、so, well then,、um, おかいたり、um, floating and sinking, floating and sinking, ここのひれ、ひれ。Oh, ひれ is f i n f i n ここのひれをバタバタ、I think that's like a sound. It is. It's like a, like a flapping sound. Koko no hire no bata bata sasete susumurashi kedo. So here, here's, a, here's the fin that likes、um, bata bata. That, that does, does the bata bata thing.、Um, go, going. Susumu is like advancing. To, so. It's used to like、uh, the fins are used to like、uh, help the fish go forward. Hi. Hi. Yes. So if I was to translate this into English, it would be、um, well, I guess it would be like floating and sinking. And with this fin right here flapping, if, you, if they use this flim, then they'd be, able to they'd be able to go forward, it seems like. So this is her describing what it would be like to live underwater. You'd have your fin. I see. Pata, pata, pata.、Um, so next is Cookie. Okay.、Um, and like, here the.、Um, oh, that's a fin, yep. Yep. Anna kanji ni oyoi de ta no kana. So kamo ne. So it's like fins. Um, what does Anna kanji ni mean? Kind of like in that kind of way, <laughs> is how I would translate that. Oh, in that kind of sense, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, I wonder how they swam.、Mm, there's no real question that in right? there. Well, I guess it is a wonder. Anna, I thought, I, I kana, kana is like, yeah, it's like, I、oh, can't. I, I thought、like、Kana was like a wonder. It is a wonder, but it feels more like I guess in this context. It's a little、okay. bit aggressive. I... Just because of English, it's, it's when you translate things.、Um... Yeah, fair enough. But all in all, it's like、um, in that sense,、um, I guess that's how they swam. And then you is like. So, Kamone is like, yeah, I feel that way too. Yeah, that might be right. So, Kamone. So, 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 so,
から気をつけろよ。So because it hot,、um, be careful. Let's be careful. やった。Uh, やった is, I, I did it. I got it. Yep. Or a lot of times they'll be used in a way in English how we'd say the word yay, but it does directly translate as I got it. Do umai. How, how is it? It's delicious. And Anthony, next is for you. Ah, Watashi mo tabete miruka. Ah, amari tabenai deo. Mm, hajimete taberu ajida. Uh, so the first bubble says,、uh, what is it?、Uh, I'm also going to eat. Tabete mi-、uh, I'm also going to try and eat it. Hi.、Um, amari is. Amari tabenai deo. Amari is. Wait. Not amari very is not、much. so much. Hi. Yes.、Uh, okay. Uh, so uh, I won't eat much of it. I don't want to eat so much. Mm. Then the third bubble is like saying, Hajimete taberu ajida. This is the first,、um, this is my first time eating it. Uh, this is、uh, how they i t s aji is taste.、Um, so、mm-hmm. this is my first time tasting or eating it. Hi. I feel like、this, they should have wrote、yeah. the word flavor over in the English sentence. Because maybe this is the, fir- the, the flavor that she's eating. She's eating this, and this is the first time she's ever tasted this kind of thing. This is the first type of. Flavor, the specific flavor.、Mm. So, Anmari t a b e n a i d e o So, in Japanese, if a sentence ends with te form, which is what this is, naide, is, is a type of te form,、okay. it, it's actually an order. So, this character is saying, do not eat too much. Because you think it、uh. tastes delicious. So, she's saying, don't eat too much of it. I think it's very oishi.、Uh. Okay. And next is cookie. Okay. Yogore ga ochite Yogore ga ochite kire ni nata ne kuku. Is that right? Hi. Okay, that's um. I feel like it's something like the dirt seems to have fallen off our、yep. clothes. Hasn't it? Yep. The kirei ni natte is kind of, I would almost say, its own thing. So this is, this happened and kirei ni natte. It became clean. Yeah. It's interesting. It's kirei、yeah. ni natte. Oh, kirei is kirei. Yeah. I think that's what it's saying. I have to double check.、Kirei. I think that's what it's saying too. Kirei, a n a d j e c t i v e or a ni a d j e c t i v e Yeah, kirei kire seems to be an adjective. I know it's an adjective, but if it's an e a d j e c t i v e But kire ni turns、oh, into yes, an adjective. Yes, it is a no adjective. <laughs> I, 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 this is correct.、Uh, it just, if this was an e、okay. adjective, so an adjective that ends with an e character, which this is not an e adjective that ends with an e character, so it's okay. Because I wanted to double check. I was like, it is, isn't it? Because、mm. uh, if it ended with an e character, it'd be kire ku. <laughs> Which is not something people say because、oh. it's not an adjective. So that, that's what I was、uh, double checking right there because I was like, Am I hallucinating? Why is there an E at the end of the word? <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Phew, phew, phew. We, were, it, we were on the clear. It was, a, <laughs> it was not an E adjective.、Um, Tree, your turn. Kochi wa niku ga ochite tsu. So, what is shukirista? It's a verb, isn't it? Kind of.、It's、a It has sudu added to it, which turns it into a verb.、Um, sukiri is basically an, something that means like refreshing. So, when you're saying to, it's So, it kind of means like to become refreshing. It can also mean completely. So, in this context, it's probably completely. So, it has completely ochtad, the niku. So, 
the that meat hi um that meat had come out hi that's basically what's saying so kochi um, is well. is more like saying this thing so she's saying on this thing the niku has completely come off so there's no more niku on this thing and then she describes that kochi as hone as bone so in other words the um the meat has completely come off the bone and, and then sukuri shitane just mean it, it, it's it's become clean is that what she's saying um not totally sukiri means um completely it, it can mean clean in a way um but it's not really kide because in the cut so she say so so basically the item there's no more meat on it zenbu rather than saying zenbu they said sukiri oh i i right, so the the meat uh, came off the thing here Hi. completely exactly and she say bone yeah han, han, hone. yep hone. and then she says huh completely huh sukirite. just say sukirite. Sukiri. Hi. and next is going to be anthony uh okay um demo doko kara uh nagareru naga nagarete Kitan daro, ne? Uh, up till where will I? Okay. Uh, yappari okujo no ho kara janai kana. Uh, haisui, haisui ni majitte. So the first bubble says, um, demo doko kara kita. Ah, so it's. The first bubble says like um the wh where did this um this fish flow down from flow flow from yep yeah and then, we um, have then the second bubble is before you do the second bubble uh, um I think yes. you read this word wrong you I I swore you said the word uh, factory but it's jo so which is the upper upper layer in the fantasy uh, setting jo, they're in uh, um. I could have misheard uh, no, you. I, I, but, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah, I, I pronounce it as Okujo. <laughs> I yeah. think I'm. I think uh, Joso. Okay. Uh, Joso. Yappari Joso. Joso no ho kara janai kana. Um, uh, I, I think this, this is from the um, upper stratum. Uh, th this came from the upper stratum. Uh, hai so, hai ni majitte. And uh, it became mixed with the drainage. Perfect. Hi. 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 And Cookie, next is for you. Um, that's the next frame at the bottom. Is that so, right? So. Okay. When no.上の方に行けば、いっぱいいるのかな。あの、なんかこう、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、
The, who wants to try reading this handwritten stuff? Oh, the, all the handwriting. Yeah, that's always fun. <laughs> Sounds like Anthony wants to try. Anthony, why don't you do the first one? Uh, Saraba Perfect. and bye bye. So Saraba is Sarabada. It yep. says goodbye. Yeah. Yep. And bye bye is English. Yep. Bye bye. Perfect. And that is where we'll be dropping off today. So beautiful. We'll be okay, so I'll stop the recording.